Hey guys, today I'm bringing you a pickup video and this one will be on pieces I have containing the colour orange. Now orange has been somewhat of a popular colour in street style and even though it hasn't been overly popularised, it's definitely flirted with or been on the verge of becoming a trend at some point in time over the past few years. Leading brands such as Vetmon, Heron Preston, Supreme and V-Lone have had orange injected into their pieces in the past which have turned out really well. Stone Island even play around with the colour so it definitely has a place in today's fashion scene. And after that, it really only comes down to personal preference, if you like the colour or not. Personally, I really like it. It's a colour that goes well with my style. Brands I like also use it. And I think it goes really well with black, which is how I match it up a lot of the time. So let's get into the pickups and show you some orange stuff. The first thing I want to show you guys is this Timberland Mountain jacket. I got this quite recently and I really needed a jacket that I could wear for this winter season because I don't have a staple piece as far as outerwear goes that I can just throw on. I saw this and I really like the construction of the jacket and because I like matching orange with black I thought I'd do a good job for the time being. The good thing about this is that it definitely keeps me warm. It's also a high vent and has tape seams so it's waterproof making it perfect for the British winter we're currently living in. Like I said I really like the construction of the jacket which is what sold me on it. It has a panel design and the only branding it has is a small Timberland logo embossed on the left side of the arm. It's pretty small so it's basically a plain jacket which is exactly what I was looking for. I also like the shade of the orange on this. It's almost like a pumpkin orange and I think it works really well for winter. I wouldn't want to be walking around in a fluorescent orange when the weather is as dark as it currently is. Got this in a double XL because that was all that was available when I came across it. I thought I'd give it a try and it does fit okay. XL would have also been okay but there's nothing much I could have done about that. Now this will be my go to jacket for the next few months and in the meantime I'll still be on the lookout for a basic black jacket I can wear for the next winter season. But that's all for item number one and let's get into the next one. The second piece I have to show you guys is a VLON staple t-shirt with the orange V because VLON have released a few staple logo t-shirts in different colorways such as a purple and white and a green and black just to name two. Now I got this like not even a day before the ASAP Bari controversy because I got this from the London pop-up which was held in July of 2017 and the Bari situation happened like right after this because it happened on the day of the pop-up. Bari went from the pop-up to wireless festival to the controversy all in the space of a day. But yeah, that took a toll on the VLON brand with consumers being on either side of the fence to either stop wearing it or to continue wearing it. Personally, to me the VLON brand is bigger than ASAP Bari. It represents lifestyle as well as the ASAP mob. But I'll get into that on more detail in a future video and for now I'll just stick to showing you guys the item. Like I said, this is a staple logo t-shirt and I got this in a double XL. An extra large probably would have been fine but I just figured to get it oversized. The cotton is a thick cotton and it has a natural vintage fade to it which gives Gives it more character. The print also has minor cracking in it which I thought was a really nice touch. It gives it a rugged feel which reflects off the V-Lone brand. I like wearing this because it's easy to wear especially when you like the V-Lone aesthetic which I do and it is a black printed t-shirt which after all is my favourite type of garment. But that was item number two and let's get into the next one. The third item is another VLON t-shirt which I got around the same time but I end up getting this off a reseller before the London pop-up. This one was purchased from the LA pop-up shop and it has a different neck tag which was produced earlier. This one is just a white label with the VLON fragment logo and the other one is a VLON V which has garment details printed into it and I believe this is the one they decided to stick with and continue using. But yes, this is the VLON Fragment collab on the Friends t-shirt. It features the original Friends print, but instead it has the minus sign circled with the Fragment logo. As well as that, the V on the back is again circled with the Fragment logo. And I thought that was a nice and simple contribution from Fragment. I like the original Friends t-shirt, but when the collaboration was announced, I wasn't going to just settle for the regular print and got my hands on the Fragment collab. And I'm really happy with it because I see this as a staple piece. The v Lone brand is still running with the Friends motif in current seasons because it recently released the Friends denim jacket. So it's still a current print as well as the classic print for the brand. The quality on this is really good. It differs to the staple logo t-shirt and I think that's just because this is a different design as well as that because it's a collaboration. And I have mentioned before that sometimes collaborations do affect the quality because it's two brands put into one production as opposed to one. This cotton is even thicker than the other one and the print has some weight to it making it a quality piece. I got this in the XL and that's because I didn't know which size would be better for me so I took the chance 
pants on the XL. When I went to the London pop-up, I did try this on in a double XL and that fit a little too big, even in comparison to the double XL in the staple logo t-shirt. So I did make the right choice and I do like the fit. Hopefully we'll have some more videos on v -Loan in the future so we can continue this discussion. But for now, let's get into the next item. The next piece is a nice and simple piece and this is just an orange long sleeve from Gildan. I wanted a basic orange long sleeve that had no printing on it and the best one I could find was the Gildan. I'm not a big fan of Gildan personally, of course because of the quality, but on the long sleeve it's not that bad and for being a basic item in my wardrobe I think it'll do for the time being. This is just a piece I could throw on when I'm feeling to rock the colour orange but still want to keep it basic so it's an easy wear. Again size extra large, these long sleeves do fit better than the short sleeves in my opinion so I would recommend staying true to size in it. I'll provide a link in the description as to where I got this from and there is more colours available if you're not interested in the orange. I'm also looking for a basic black long sleeve but I want that to be of better quality so that's something else to have my eye out for. To be honest I might get it from Gildan just to hold me down for the time being but if you do have any recommendations on a basic black long sleeve but from a designer or a brand instead then let me know down below even if you recommend one from Uniqlo or something. But yeah an easy item for number 4 and let's get into number 5. The fifth item I have to show you guys is another long sleeve but this time it's from the Adidas and Alexander Wang collaboration. This is a soccer jersey from their first collection and it's made up of 100% polyester. Now am I a fan of polyester? Not so much. I do prefer to stick to cotton but on this it's not that bad and I think that's because I really like the fit on this. This has the Adidas classic logo embroidered in the center of the chest and turned upside down and then it has the Adidas three stripes going down each sleeve which have been inverted by Alexander Wang and then they return back to normal on the sleeve cuffs and I thought that was a really nice touch. The polyester gives it a soccer jersey feel as well as the branding which has been etched into the material for an all over print. Now I'm from the UK and we call it football but this was branded as a soccer jersey so I refer to it as that and try and be somewhat politically correct. I got this from Selfridges and I wasn't planning on getting a piece from the collaboration even though I did like it but I went into Selfridges and this caught my eye. I hadn't seen the orange colorway in the soccer jersey and when I asked about it, they claimed it was a Selfridges exclusive colorway, which I'm not 100% sure was the case, but that's not why I got it. I got it because it was orange and as this video is showing I seem to like the colour orange. So I decided to try it on and I really liked the fit and it was also the last extra large so decided to grab it. Fits very true to size and I feel this would be nice to rock out in the summer. This shade of orange is also slightly brighter which will work really well in summer. But that's all for this item and let's get into the next one. The next item isn't a garment to switch things up a bit, instead I have some shoes or sneakers if you prefer but these are the Y3 Pure Boosts in the black and orange colorway. Now these aren't the knit model, rather they have a neoprene upper. I did prefer the knit, but this colorway wasn't available in that model. These also have boost in them, which was another selling point for me. And I did get these in the sale, as I did have my eye on them, but I wasn't looking to pay retail. I was out in the shopping center, and I saw these sitting in a shop window on sale, so they caught me off guard but the price was really good so I decided to grab them. I wasn't wearing these a lot when I first got them but as of late I have been getting more wears out of these. These also originally came with an orange lace but a friend of mine said I should try them out with a black lace and I do prefer it like that. It looks a lot better and cleaner with the only hint of orange being on the heel tab. The lace I put in them is also a wax lace which I think goes really well with white threes and they fit pretty true to size and I really like the silhouette as well as the white three branding which is why I decided to grab them. Not the most comfortable boost that I've ever worn but you can't really compete with Ultra Boost 1.0s and I also think that's down to the fact they don't have an insole. Also I think these were recently reintroduced for Y3 because they're sitting on Essence right now for £370 which is ridiculous because the original retail price wasn't even that so I don't know how that's acceptable. The knit version of the Pure Boost are sitting on the Y3 website right now on sale at £125. They have a full size run in the all black colorway so if you are interested in this silhouette I'll link that down below. Because £425, I do think this shoe is worth it. Just not for £370 like Essence are trying to extort. But yeah, that was the last item for today and that completes my orange items. I'm sure I'll be getting some more in the future so we may see a part 2. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like. It's much appreciated and always helps. I'll leave some details and social handles in the description. But for now, thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.